when they're special. Yes. What's your type? Just curious. Mm, I'm not picky. Really? I really am not. I feel like if I meet you and we have that connection, then we have that connection. I'm not like he has to be 6'5". He has to have a million dollars in the bank. He has to, you know, I'm definitely not like that. You're not. I really just want to feel, this is what I'm looking for. You want to know my type? This is what I want. There's lots of people. There's like two straight guys listening to this right now. So for the two straight guys all the way in the back. (laughs) I will tell you exactly what I want. I want to feel like I can unapologetically be myself and I will still be loved. That's what I want because I did not have that in my last relationship. I felt judged every single day. I felt like I would never be good enough. I felt like everything I did was wrong and I could never be myself without being reprimanded for it. I want to be in a relationship where I can sit there and say whatever I want to say and still have them be like, I love you so much. You know, I want to be able to make a mistake and still be held. You know, I want to sit there in all my flaws and ugliness and sit there when I have great times and just know I'm going to get the same reaction from that person no matter what, you know. That's fair. Yeah. We will wrap up soon, I promise. But No, you're great. You mentioned, you know, all this stuff because it is it's shed media that's done like Girls Trip and, you know, mm. Real Housewives of New York. Like you mentioned, you never because, you know, there is Leah McSweeney's lawsuit involved shed and Andy Cohen and Bravo. Like you said, like yeah. you never saw any of this. Like you I felt didn't. it was the almost it sounds like the exact opposite. I was shocked um, hearing some of the stuff I've heard. Because I, I did not even experience any of that. And I would tell you. <laughs> I really I know would. You would. I mean, those bastards. No. But I I got the exact opposite. I mean, I felt like they were my family while I was filming. They were incredible with my children. My kids still talk about them. Um, they were amazing to me. They made me feel safe. Um, they made me feel, like I said, they got me through the freaking season. Andy Cohen, production, Shed, Bravo, the network, everybody. They were the ones behind my back holding me up. Um, so yeah, I did not have that experience at all. And you're like, are you shocked at some of the things that you're hearing? Like from, you know. Yeah, completely. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not going to speak on it. I'm not going to, you know, that's not my business. Yeah. I did not experience that personally, but I also you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not seasoned. So, I mean, I, I don't know, but I did not experience that at all. So. What do you want people, you know, cause there is so much, everyone's watched it. You're not coming yeah. back now. I, know. I have come to, I think I've had as hard a time as you probably and yeah. adjusting to that, Thank you. but Thanks. I'm going to watch season five with, are you, you're not going to watch season I'm five. I'm not right? watching that shit. No. I mean, I don't no. blame you. Why the fuck would I watch that? So I can watch, like, someone still bitch about how they're a bad Mormon, but they're not a bad Mormon. You know? I, I do Am know. I going to, like, see more bottles of Vita? Like, I don't need to see that. <laughs> like, what? Honestly, if I want to watch it, no, I'm not going to watch that shit. Best of luck to them. I blessings still... on blessings for all of you, but I don't need to be watching it. How would you, you would you want to watch a show no. that exactly no 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 and i'm not trying to talk shit that was a question are you gonna watch it no and yet you seem no i mean i definitely wouldn't watch it no if no. it were me but yet like you said you said you're fine like you don't seem to me like i don't yeah. know i don't want to board like you don't seem angry you don't seem sad like yeah you seem like if you could say there are the five stages of grief associated with this. Yes. You're in. And I went through all of them. Please. Just because I'm okay now. I was not. When reunion happened, I was not. I was a mess. When I first found out I wasn't coming back, I was so heartbroken. I was so shocked. I mean, I went through all of that. I absolutely did. I'm just in a place now where I'm like, that was probably, that was probably for the best, you know? 
They probably knew what they were doing. They know more than me. They know things I don't know, you know? They know these women better than I do. So, you know, just it's kind of like trust the process type of thing. That's such a healthy adult way to look at it. Isn't it crazy that I can actually hold a conversation, right? Because no one thinks I can. Do you think, I mean, that was my kind of like my next question. Like, what do you think is the biggest, yeah, like misconception of you that you're... The biggest misconception is that I'm a fucking stalker, okay? Because are we really going to act like we have never driven by someone's house ever before? We're going to do that? Because I've seen like a million TikToks of women filming themselves doing that. But anyways, a drive-by does not a stalker make. And I think the biggest misconception is that I'm such a liar. I hate it. I hate it. Because it's almost like they've been lied to so much that they don't believe when the truth is being told to them it's insane i want to know what i lied about you give me some examples because i'm sure you have some where people are like she's such a liar okay what did i lie about no i feel i truly felt that you were authentic like yeah i mean other i think i guess it's just because you are associated with this account right which i guess people which i didn't lie about by the way right when you asked me i told you and if it was just me That's a different story. But you've got five people, pretty little liars, okay, that all made a pact to the grave. Only half of us took that seriously. So I couldn't go on there knowing I promised these people I will never say anything. I won't talk about it. I won't bring it up. And then you're going to be mad at me. So am I a rat or not? No, you're not. No, I'm not. (laughs) I know they want to say you're a rat because you ratted out Jen Shaw. That was a completely different situation. When it actually mattered and I made this promise to these five people to never talk about them or bring that up, I kept that until, you know, I literally got confronted with it. Until by you got one confronted of them. Yeah. with it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Right. I guess, right. I guess people, yeah, I don't know why would people wouldn't, I mean, it's the account, but I don't think you really oh, like. Oh, you know what? I mean, okay. I, yes. Well, I mean, then I'll, okay, I thought of something. I go did on. too. Okay. Wait, you go first. I wonder if it's the same thing. Well, I think people, well, Meredith, we know Meredith. Oh so my God, that's what I was going to say. About the secret service. You were oh, going to say something no, different. Mine was going to be about the store. Oh, the Where store. I was like, yeah. oh my God. I've never been here before. It's so pretty. Yes. Okay. I wanted to say I had been there before. But we played it like, no, this is your first time here. And I'm like, well, it's not. I've been here with Jen. Well, we're going to, you know, just, it's your first time here. I'm like, okay, that's my bad. I should have been like, no, I've been here before. I'm going to say I've been here before. But, you know, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I didn't know I could say, I'm going to say what I want to say, you know? And like that did, right. That that made me look like a fucking liar. A hundred percent. Yes. I should have never gone along with that. And I should have said, I've been here before with Jen. I should have fucking said that. That's my bad. Right, but, and production just said, 